Without giving too much away, uh, I will be performing Walking on Sunshine, and, uh, which was a hit for Katrina and the Waves back in uh, 1879. No, in 1985. And I'll also be performing uh, a song called Love Shine a Light, which is the song we won uh, the Eurovision Song Contest in 1997 with this song. And what's your favorite thing about performing live? Well, it's just really nice to bring a smile, you know, especially now, these aren't the, the easiest times. Of course, historically, people could have said that since the beginning of time, but it's, um, it's something that makes me very happy to perform, and that in itself is the best thing about it. I can imagine. And what influences you? Um, my influences are the smiles on people's faces when I'm performing. That makes me very happy. Uh, with consideration of um, other singers that inspire me, I love Deborah Harry, I love Chrissy Hind, I love the girl groups, all of uh, the Velvet Underground. I was very inspired by them. And uh, just, you know, stuff I hear along the way. My parents' records, some crazy stuff. You've had some fantastic hits, including Walking on Sunshine, which you mentioned earlier, with your band The Waves. What happened there? What have you been doing since then? Yeah, after we won the Eurovision Song Contest in 1997, we kind of had a different view, a different vision of uh, the future. I wanted to do some radio work, and I worked for the BBC Radio 2 for a year, and I wanted to get into some more acting. I was in musical theatre for a year. I played the role of a woman called Ellie Greenwich, who wrote Be My Baby, Baby I Love You, River Deep, Mountain High, all those great songs. And uh, one of the highlights of my career was to be able to meet Ellie Greenwich, uh, luckily before she passed away. So that was all good. You know, sometimes, I mean like a band, sometimes it just has a sell-by date and you just go with it. We were together nearly 20 years and that was a pretty good run and it was just time to break off and do some different things. You mentioned Eurovision earlier and you're synonymous with Eurovision success and you're recently a judge on a show which decides which contestants are going to represent the UK in Eurovision. What are your thoughts on the artists? Wow, you know, it would be the easiest thing for the United Kingdom to win the Eurovision Song Contest if they put forward One Direction or Zayn or... I mean, what if somebody like Chris Martin from Coldplay did it? Almost almost for a laugh. I mean, go ahead. What if Adele said, I'm going to enter it this year? You know, they, they would just win. They would win. You know, it's how many fans you have now, how many followers you have on Facebook. Obviously, you've got to have a great song, but um, which really helped us, even though people kept saying, you can never win, you can never win all the political voting and all that. Well, okay, it's be very, very difficult for the United Kingdom to win, but it's still possible. You just have to put forward a very, very strong act. And would you ever consider doing it again? No, I would never consider doing it again. That was, it was wonderful to win, but um, it was very nerve wracking. Very, uh, very, very nerve wracking. I mean, they wanted me to, to do it. They were encouraged for me to perform because they said, well, you know, you're not going to be phased by the event and you're really confident and you've done all these shows. and. It was the most nerve-wracking show I've ever done, so it makes me nervous just to think I would ever have to do it again. And finally, other than performing tomorrow at the fair, what are your plans for your stay on the rock? This is the first time I've ever been to Gibraltar, and it's been on my list. You can't believe how long it's been on my list, and it's a, a really, really cool place. I've only been here an hour, but I'm absolutely loving it. We're going to go out. We're going to... Um, just be tourists for a couple of hours, get a bite to eat, maybe get a little drink somewhere and really uh, get ready for the show tomorrow, which I'm really looking forward to. I think it's going to be just so much fun to perform here. I, it takes a lot to get excited to come to some place because there's so many places uh, that I've already been and I keep going back to because of the nature of my work. So this is very high on the list and I'm very, very happy to be here in Gibraltar.